and welcome back. I'm your host, Veteran Mountain Man. Now, some of you may have heard about this bill, and I'm going to cover it again. It's House Regulation 5490, and I've seen several news uh, publishings about this, about the fact that it's going to create a handgun purchasing licensing system and registry. The truth is, is this bill has not gotten very much traction. It is currently in front of the House Judiciary Committee, and it probably will not see a vote. The reason it will probably not see a vote is because handgun registries and gun registries in general have been found to be unconstitutional by the federal law. And so I'm not specifically worried about it. Now, this was pushed forward by a, Senate de uh, by a House Democrat, and I'll show you who all have signed it. But here is the beginning. It starts with a group of logical fallacies, including in 2013, more than 33,000 Americans were killed by guns. Now, this number has been debunked several times. But what it will do is it will allow attorney generals to authorize and award grants to states and local governments to create a handgun licensing system. And it will require a person to acquire a handgun license after the age of 21, submit fingerprints and photographs for the permit, and provide proof of individual and legal uh, presence in the United States, proof of residency in the United States, or natural citizenship of the United States. So this license will be more effective than most state licenses in the United States because it'll actually meet the Real ID Act. It will also subject you to another background check. Now, the, the license uh, will be valid for at least up to five years. But this is insane. Um, th this isn't going to fly, people. Uh, it really isn't. Because this will actually add more onerous activity to purchasing and exercising your Second Amendment rights. And this will actually hurt the poor. And the Democrats are constantly claiming that they are champions of the poor and downtrodden. But this is not, this is not legislation that will help the poor and downtrodden. This will actually harm them. Now, <clears throat> this has gone through two actions in Congress. It was introduced to the House and referred to committee. And the co-sponsors are right here. And it is Representative Kelly Robinson and Representative Adam Alma. Both are Democrats, one from North Carolina, one from Illinois. And they co-sponsored this on the 12th of April. And except for some very specific sources... I have not seen any news on this. Now, it has been referred to the House Judiciary Committee. And it's been there for eight days. Uh, I don't expect to see this actually hit the floor. Especially with how few people are supporting this bill. And even if the Democrats got all the rest of the Democrats supporting this bill, they still don't have enough to bring it to a forced House vote. But... This is only going to make it more difficult for the poor to own weaponry to defend themselves from home invasion and to own weaponry to defend themselves from rapists and murderers and gangbangers. And that's not a good idea. The poor are the ones that we need to help in this instance, and we need to help them by making their areas safer and allowing them to defend themselves and helping them reestablish trust with law enforcement. And this won't do that. All this will do is create a new hurdle that the poor have to jump through in order to buy a firearm to defend themselves and then put them on a government list like the Nazis did the Jews. And like the Americans did the natives when we created the, the system that we use today of all the reservations. We required them to all be put on a list. 
I don't trust governments with lists. They tend to get pretty bloody. Well, thank you all again for joining me. Please don't forget to like and subscribe or thumbs up and subscribe if you're on BitChute. Also, don't forget to try my other social media along with my maker support Patreon or my Gab channel, which has paid premium content. And as always, have yourself a great day.